Hey folks, Valentin de Med here, and today we'll be making a baked multi-layer beef cake. Let's do this. Okay, going right for the ingredients. So over here we have 2 kilos of ground beef, fresh. We have 3 eggs. You can use more, you can use less, it's entirely based on your preference. I prefer more. Here we have salt, also very important. Garlic powder spice. Very good stuff for this. And more on the spices we have hyssop. I think it's called hyssop. In Hebrew Zatara I don't really use the word the whole lot in English. Now for the veggie layer we have coriander. Also probably saying it wrong. So in Israel it comes in these packs. Basically just we use the entire thing. It's great for two kilos of beef. And onion. I usually also prefer to use garlic, but we don't have any here at the moment, so uh, the veggie layer is gonna be coriander and onion. Okay, let's begin with the preparation, to begin with the eggs. So, uh, first of all, we we'll break them into this bowl. So, I'm not going to whisk it a whole lot, I just have this simple spoon. But I want to make sure there's no leftovers of the shell, because it's gonna suck if you have shell in your meat. But now it's perfectly fine, so we just whisk it a little to have somewhat a... Uh, somewhat of a uniform consistency, I guess. Just a little bit, not too much. Next up, we take the coriander and put it in a bowl of water. Basically, just to clean it up a little as we're making it. We just put it right here and you see we have a few kind of bad ones. You do want to watch out for that. You see this, you don't want the black stuff in the meat. I take the kind of dried ones out as well. Not great in your meat. I had to even just wash the whole thing. Not the best batch of coriander I personally saw. So just stuff it here and let it sit for a while. Let's dump this stuff out. Now we move on to the onion and this is a Decently sized one, you can use either a half for this, uh, for two kilos, you can use the whole thing. I think we we'll use the whole thing. Let's do it. So of course you gotta peel it first. Don't want the outer layer of the onion. So we got the top layer off, we chop off the bottom, you gotta chop off the head. Very important. Now, split the onion in half, it's gonna make it easier. And basically, I actually wanna wash it beforehand. And basically, now you just chop it up to as little pieces as you have the patience for. Well, I don't have a huge ton of patience, so <laughs> it's not gonna be very little, but it's also entirely based on your preference, how thin you wanna chop it. How much onion you want to have, how much garlic. This whole thing is just entirely... The amounts don't make a huge part of difference, perhaps, except for the salt and the spices. Don't want to overdo the spices. This goes into a separate bowl for the veggie layer. So we have this bowl here. Now we go to the coriander. Also, once again, 
chop it to those little pieces as you have the patience for. And uh, you can either chop off the bottoms, but I have no issue with the bottoms, so we'll leave them inside. Now I have it chopped up, I put it for the veggie layer. There we go. We can put this away. Now moving on to our meat. So, as for the salt, usually about three quarters of a large spoon, so something like this. Also, I usually prefer to have a little less and a little, than a little more, because if it's too much salt, you're gonna feel it. If it's too little, yeah, you can eat something salty alongside, so... About a half to a three quarters. Dump it in the meat. As for the spices, we have our garlic spice. I should like to have a lot of that. Not the most accurate measurements, but uh, it will do. And for our hyssop. It kind of has a taste that resembles pepper a little bit, so... Uh, also, based on your preference, you should like to have not too much. So about something like this, that's gonna be good enough. And of course, we add our egg. And now we get to mixing our meat, and keep in mind it's a multi layer cake, so uh, meat separate, veg layer separate. We'll talk a little bit about it. So first of all, we can uh, zoom in on the mixing thing. So first of all, as for spices, you can add a lot more, of course. You can add uh, curcumin, I think it's called uh, turmeric, or something like this. You can add Curry, if you want. But yeah, it's also entirely based on preference. And what am I doing? I brought this big uh, spoon for this. And it's gonna make life just so much easier. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while to mix it. And as we're mixing it, let's talk about the concept. So basically, first of all, why basically a multi layer beef cake? You know, just what? Why not mix the entire thing and make cutlets? So, the cake idea is just to save you time, because making each cutlet, that's gonna take some time. And if you're lazy, it's just easier to dump the entire thing into a single cake. And next up, why have the veggies is a separate layer. So basically, what I found is that if you have them as a separate layer, the taste of the coriander and the onion and the garlic, if you have, it's more dominant. It's felt better than you have when it's all mixed in together. So do like that, not a huge amount of effort. But of course, needless to say, if you're going to grill it, just dump the entire thing in, inside, make cutlets and just grill cutlets. But if you're going for a, for a baked thing, I highly suggest separating the two layers. So we're gonna mix it really well because if you don't mix it well, you'll have bits of meat that have a little spice, have a little salt, 
uh, bits of meat that have a ton of it. So you want it mixed more or less consistently. See, you see this? So if you don't mix it well, you're gonna have like patches of this. You don't want that. Okay, so the meat layer is basically okay. I'll move on. In the veg layer, just gonna mix it. Nothing too fancy. So just like the meat, just mix it. And once again, I can add more stuff that I think it's gonna go well with this. I like the combination of coriander, garlic, and onion. Also, I can just experiment with it. And chances are it's still gonna be good. Alright, so now we have both of our layers, the meat layer and the veggie layer basically ready. Now we move on to the cake thing. So what we have is this kind of sort of plate bowl thing. It's good for baking, so... Uh, so what we do first is put about, let's say, a third to a half of this bowl and just fill it with meat. So take chunks and you spread them out. So we have it spread out, all roughly on the same level. Here's our first layer of meat. Now put on the entire veggie layer. Just spread it out evenly across the board. Now I should mention that in the end it's not gonna stick like in a regular cake. And they will come apart, but Taste-wise, this thing is just awesome. Now I have it basically in and we're just gonna spread it to be somewhat even. This will do. And we'll put on the rest of the meat layer on top of it. Now we have it all basically here and once again just spreading out to make it more or less even. Doesn't have to be hugely accurate, just more or less even. It's gonna taste great even if you do screw it up a little. Now we have our Raw cake ready. Now let's bake it. Alright, now putting this in the oven, you want it to be right around the middle. Now, a few configs for the oven, that's very important. You want both the heat to come from top and from bottom. You want to bake it for uh, 60 minutes and 200 degrees Celsius. I don't know about Fahrenheit, but 200 degrees Celsius, very important for 60 minutes. Now, do be sure to check it about uh, after 50 minutes. See how it's going, and uh, but usually for two kilos for cake like this, 60 minutes is what is what you want.
Alright, so we have about 10 minutes left and from what I can see the outer edges are pretty well done. The mid sections are uh, getting there. So I think it, it is safe to keep it for another 10 minutes. Just to make sure it all gets cooked through and through, don't really want any of the raw stuff inside. So yeah, let's see how it's gonna be in 10 minutes. Alright guys, now we have it ready. And took it out, took it out about 5 minutes early. And here we go. Alright guys, now comes the part that we're going to enjoy this beautiful beef cake with some hummus, with some veggies and the meat who was the cameraman for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and absolutely do try this at home. Until next time.